today we are talking about how to clean your house fast. <laughs> if company's coming over or... Mother-in-law calls, calls and says I'm 20 minutes away. Well, you're you just sick of it. Sometimes you just get sick of it and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we put up new videos. Hello, I am Tara, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook, where you can eat better, spend less. We have a new hardcover with full color pictures and over 1,200 recipes and tips to help you save money on your grocery bill. Check it out at livingonadime.com. Hi guys, today Mom and I are talking about how to clean your house fast. I will tell you, my house, it just, it never stays clean. I'm just always having to clean my house. <laughs> But to my defense, you know, we have our business in our house and half the time we're packing books in the living room mm -hmm. or, something, you know, tomorrow we're getting ready to have Mike and Dave bring books in so we can pack Bibles and get those packed up. And so for me, it is a never ending problem to keep my house clean. We do. Mike and the kids help a lot. But sometimes we just get busy and we just don't get it done. So if your mother-in-law is coming over or whatever, mom, how do you clean your house fast? I set the vacuum cleaner in front of the front door so that when she walks in, I says, don't mind the mess. I was just cleaning. Okay, that'll be all. We well, will see. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Actually, Ugh. what you do is, okay, if this, <laughs> let's say it's company coming. So you don't need to clean the whole house from top to bottom for company. You can close a lot of doors, yep. a lot of bedroom doors, utility drawer doors, <laughs> Anything you can close, <laughs> close it off. Usually you need to have, and the way your house is arranged, of course, makes a difference. Mm -hmm. But usually you'll need the living room first. Then you'll need maybe the bathroom. And depending if it's open to the kitchen mm -hmm. you or you think you'll be going into the kitchen, you might need to do the kitchen. So what I would do is I'd go into the living room. I take a large wicker wicker basket or, or something like that. Laundry basket. And a, a large trash bag. And I will zip through and I'll... Grab everything that doesn't belong in that room, throw it in the basket, throw the trash in the trash bag, and get that out of the room. Straighten the shoes, straighten the coats, and you're moving on. Yeah, straighten whatever, then you straighten whatever's left, and just, then you go into the bathroom. And I just scoop all the toiletries if I have to in a little basket and hide them away in a vanity someplace. I take my cleaner and I spray it on the sink, wipe it down really quick, dry it. Always dry it because it looks Don't like... Don't forget the mirror. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like it'll sparkle and that makes the whole bathroom look clean. Mm -hmm. Then if you have, pull the shower curtain shut and take and just wipe, not a deep clean, just take a break and wipe down the toilet seat and make sure there's mm -hmm. not, you know, a whole lot of obvious... Gross. Yeah, on there. So you got the bathroom done. Now, if you need to, shake the rug in the bathroom. If Empty it's, the trash if you and, need yeah, to. Yeah, but... but but otherwise, you pretty much have the bathroom done. Mm -hmm. And uh, then in the kitchen, if I have to do it really fast, I would just fill the sink. I don't have a dishwasher. Throw the dishes in the dishwasher if you haven't. But I will fill the sink up with really hot soapy water, scoop all the dishes in there, and put them in the hot soapy water, wipe off the countertops and the kitchen table. And the kitchen's pretty much done for that part. Then I will take and grab the vacuum if it needs it, only if it needs it, and vacuum the living room. Mm -hmm. I will vacuum the bathroom if it needs it, and the kitchen really fast. You're not getting along the baseboards or doing that type of vacuuming. It's getting the big stuff. And before you start the vacuuming, scoop up the, the throw rugs, mm -hmm. shake them real quick, and lay them outside the door, vacuum, and then flop them down. You can take a feather, if you have a time after that, you can take a feather duster to the living room mm -hmm. if you need to. But dusting can be left till, you know, very yeah. last. Yeah. Only. But here's the thing. If you just keep up on it on a regular basis. That's a true secret. Like Thanksgiving, we had had a great big sale. We hadn't been keeping picked up. I was like, I am not eating my Thanksgiving dinner in a house that is a pit. And Mike and the kids and I, we spent 45 minutes, and we had the house completely it cleaned. It was unreal. We had it completely cleaned. And so it really, and I know you say, well, your husband and kids. Guys, your husband and kids can help. 
Mm. There's no reason the kids cannot be helping with this stuff. So, Well, another thing, too, about keeping up on mm -hmm. top of things, I, with the kids, in the morning, we would always make sure their bedrooms were picked yeah. up before they went to school. And at night, everybody can pick up your living room or family room mm -hmm. of all the stuff they've left in there, the trash, their, their dirty socks, their shoes, their toys. That should yeah. be picked up every single night, no matter what. So when you get up in the morning, what do you need to do but just sweep and dust in there? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So make it quick. Just get in there. Get it done. Stop messing on your phone. Yeah. Just whip through and just it. Just do it. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest thing. We will see you guys next time. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. Bye-bye.